All right, this is John from MK1615 Evangelism Team, and we are out here on Fort Lauderdale Beach, and uh, I just ran into a couple here, and your name is, sir? Ran. And your name is, ma'am? Lori. Lori. Listen, I just, uh, Corey or Tori? Lori. Oh, Lori. Okay. Hi, Lori. Hey, Ryan. Listen, uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Did you guys hear about... Uh, that movie massacre that just happened in Colorado. You heard about that, right? Yes, yes. Okay. You heard about it? Yes. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, that guy, you heard that he went in here and he started killing people and everything like that. When you heard about that, what, were you, what was kind of like running through your mind? How, um, how it's just not just that. It's just a lot of chain of events happening. You know what I'm saying? Like the guy on Miami Beach ate the guy face off. It's like... It's like it's a it's a lot of chain of events just happening like that. It's sad. It's sad that it had to happen like that, but it's it's something else bigger than that right there, and I think so. You think those people that walked out of that theater probably feel maybe life a little bit more precious now than they did that night that they walked in, you know? Because I mean, when you run into a, a serious event like that, you're like, "My gosh, I mean, Man, you're not even safe anymore, even in a movie theater. It just means that we could die at any time, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, one of the things is, this is why I was asking you I, I, about this DVD. It's called The Biggest Question. What do you think the biggest question in life is? Uh, is we going to be here tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. And it's true. I mean, what about, what's going to happen to me after I die? Where am I going to spend eternity? Do I go to heaven? Do I go to hell? I mean, what's in store for me? What are your thoughts on the afterlife? Where do you believe you're going, to go, going when you die? I believe I go to heaven. Would you like to answer that? Mm -hmm. No, I believe I'm going to go to heaven. Heaven? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, my question would be, and that's a great answer, heaven. Uh, uh, imagine you stood before the gates of heaven, and God said to you, Why should I allow you into my kingdom? What would your answer be? Because I feel like I got a good heart and I deserve to be in there. So you're a good person? Yes, I think so. Uh, you know, one of the ways we can see if we're a good person, because a lot of people believe they're going to go to heaven, but just because we believe, hope that we're going to heaven doesn't mean that we're going to actually go there. We have to see how God sees if we're going to go to heaven. And you said that you're a good person, right? Yes. Let me take you through a quick test to see how good you are. Not in my eyes, because who am I? I'm a nobody. Uh, but more importantly, in God's eyes. And the Bible says that when we die, we're going to stand before God for judgment. And the standard God is going to use to judge mankind by is his moral law, the commandments. One of God's commandments says, Thou shall not lie. Bear false witness. Now, have you ever lied before? Of course. Yeah, I've done that many times myself. So what do you call someone who tells lies? Uh, depends on the situation. Well, it rhymes with fire. <laughs> a liar. A liar. There you go. Uh, what about, have you ever stolen anything, took anything? The value really doesn't matter. It could be even a piece of candy or something when you were younger. Yeah. 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 Okay, and what do you call someone who steals? A stealer. A thief. There you go. Here's two more. He says that we shouldn't take God's name in vain. Have you ever got upset and angry and said, oh, you know, the, the God, you know, the D word or Jesus out of anger? Have you ever done that? Yeah. Do you know that's called blasphemy? You've taken the God who's given you life and used his name as a curse word. One more. He says that we shouldn't commit adultery. But Jesus said, you have heard that it was said of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman just to lust after, forget about sex outside of marriage, but just to lust after a woman, you've committed that adultery within your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman to lust after her? Not after I'm married. After you never saw a woman and had a sexual thought before you were married? Before you marry, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've committed adultery before you're married. Remember, what he was saying is not adultery after you're married, but he said just looking at a woman, just to have a sexual thought about her, you know, maybe across a TV or a magazine or whatever, you've committed that adultery within your heart. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so check this out. By your own admittance, this is God's, you've admitted that you're a liar. A thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. That's how God sees us. We're all sinners. And the Bible says that there is no one good on this earth, not even one. We've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. But he also says the soul that sins will surely die. For the wages of sin is eternal death. If you were to stand before God on judgment day and God were to judge you according to the Ten Commandments, would you be innocent or guilty? 
I think I'd be innocent because that's why Jesus Christ died for us. Okay. <laughs> that's right. There you go. But but my go point ahead. is, is go this, ahead. okay? If God were to judge you by the commandments alone, right. innocent or guilty? I'd be guilty. Okay. So therefore, he heaven or hell because you've broken the commandments? No, nah, I'd be still, still in heaven. Why? Christ died for our sin. And I so my question is, and that's good. My question to you was, and in the beginning I said, if God were to say to you, why should I allow you into the kingdom of heaven? Why didn't you say, because I repented of my sin and Jesus Christ died for my sins? Because you didn't. Because the question never came up yet. No, when I said, why would God allow you into heaven? You think he allows us into heaven by our own good works or what Jesus did on the cross? Jesus did on the cross. Amen, amen. That's good. Now, you're a Christian, right? Okay. I wanted to ask you something. Did you guys ever read the Bible verse where Jesus said in Matthew 7 and probably many others, um, but he said, many will come to me on the day of judgment and say unto me, Lord, Lord. And he said, and I will tell them on that day, depart from me, for I never knew you. You, you, you ever read that verse? I've heard it before. Yeah. You, do you know what Jesus was saying on that? Not offhand. Because there's a lot of people that believe they're going to heaven. They, believe, they say they believe Jesus, right? But yet they've truly never been saved. They've never been born again. You know, even the scripture in 1 John says, even the devil and the demons, they believe in Jesus. They know who Jesus is and they fear and they tremble, but they will not bow to his lordship. They will not surrender to Christ because they're enemies of God. You see what I'm saying? And yet, one of the ways that we can know for sure that we're Christians, the Bible says we can examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith. Test ourselves to see if our faith is real and genuine. Many years I look in my life, I used to go to church, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, come out of the church, go out there, live a life, drunken, partying, everything, cursing, go back into church, oh, bless you, God bless you, sister, hey, God bless I was living a life of a hypocrite. I was never truly saved. And the Bible says that where Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he'll never, never see the kingdom of God. And the born again lifestyle is when we repent of our sin, as you said, and we turn to Christ. God saves us and he gives us a new heart with a new desire. And now the things that we used to do in the world are going to be tasteless to us because we're going to love the things of God more than the things of the world. Also, one of the evidence of knowing we're Christians, too, is you have a Bible at home, right? Mm -hmm. How often would you say you read that Bible? Uh, I mean, aside from going to church, just like on a regular basis. When do you think? Not that often. I'm going to be honest. Not that often. Yeah. 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 I mean, maybe once every couple of weeks, you think? Yeah, somewhere like that. Do you eat food every day? Yeah. If you didn't eat in like two weeks, how do you think you would feel physically? You'd be exhausted. <laughs> You're probably pretty weak, right? Yeah. And you know what? The Bible says that we should be filling ourselves up spiritual food every day with God's word. Last question is, if I gathered all your friends together and I said, hey, let me ask you something about him. Is Jesus Christ the most precious thing in his life? Does his life reflect the life of Christ? Would they say, oh yeah, I watch his life. He's a Christian. He follows Christ. He lives his life for Christ. Would they say that? No. All I want you to know is I want you examine yourself because this is why I, a lot of people say they're Christians but when when you truly examine them there's no evidence to show what they profess they believe you see what I'm saying and there was a lot of people in the days of Jesus um, that said uh, I believe Jesus he's the Lord he's this he's that he's the prophet and they followed him but in the end they were all gone they never followed him anymore yeah. and Jesus turned to the disciples and he said Peter don't you want to go too?" and Peter said Lord where are we gonna go you're the only one that has words to eternal life so what we have to do is man we really have to think about that's why I gave you that verse where Jesus said many are gonna come to me on the day of judgment and say to me Lord Lord and he said, and I will tell them on that day, depart from me, for I never knew you. And the reason why I say that is because...